Welcome to Willia Wolves More Deceptive. We need to wake up. Wolves kill the sheep, not keep the sheep. Jesus said, Beware of false prophets, which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly the ravening wolves. They appear to look lovely and cuddly and soft, saying, Just love. But Jesus said, If you love me, keep my commandments. God's Top Ten Put God first. Worship Him only. No bad words. Work six, rest one. Obey your parents. Harm no one. Don't cheat. If it's not yours, don't take it. Tell the truth. Don't be jealous of other people's stuff. Sound good? Well, the Creator's gone, along with the Sabbath. And don't cheat could be referring to exams. So, is adultery okay now? We have our Bibles. We have our experience, attested to by the miraculous workings of the Holy Spirit. We have a truth that admits of no compromise. Shall we not repudiate everything that is not in harmony with this truth? We also have the testimony of Jesus. For the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. Jesus answered and said, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. He warned us four times in Matthew 24 about deceive. To the law and to the testimony. If they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. The leaders of the world's Catholic and Lutherans have signed a joint declaration at an ecumenical prayer service commemorating the greatest schism in Western Christianity. On Reformation Milestone, experts detect astounding thirst for unity and may represent a new springtime in ecumenism. Crux is a Catholic source. Pope Francis the next day said a Christian should not oppose God or Caesar. That should tell you something that's coming. I was surprised to hear an SDA preacher say last weekend, we're saved by Christ's works. No, we're not. Paul writes, and without sh the shedding of blood is no remission. It's interesting, these words are the same words used in the Reforming Catholic Confession for Protestants to come back to Rome. Everything that can be done should be done to circulate thoughts on Daniel and Revelation by Uriah Smith, wrote Ellen White. I know of no other book that can take the place of this one. It is God's helping hand. So, what have we done with it? Well, we've edited it, changed it, isolated, and now dropped it. Paul warned, For I know this, 
that after my departing shall grievous wolves enter in among you, not sparing the flock. Branch Davidians in Waco, Texas, Bob Brinsmead's Present Truth, Des Ford's Good News. Tens of thousands of souls have been lost. And Paul was right. They don't spare the flock. SDAs now ordain women, male transvestites, baptising the same sex, married couples, practising lesbians, homosexual males. Hey, don't discriminate or eliminate, since some believe we are saved in sin and not saved from sin. At a recent General Conference Council, it was stated that 30% of Seventh-day Adventist pastors watch pornography. God help us! Where are the true shepherds? It's time to wake up. It's time for a revival of primitive godliness. Will you? Today? Now? God bless you, friend.